Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the different ways that you can upgrade your damage from and I have seen different videos but they don't really go in depth on what sections can help you with your strength and everything so I'm going to be doing that today and I'm going to start off with here in the skills area so here in the passive you can see armor posting shell increase your armor increases ma maximum fire increases damage those are the two main ones that you want to upgrade first because it will take away from your talent points so forget about the throw and the device go to the passive increase these two things first and then you can increase whatever else you want after that over here is the camp training so when you join a camp you'll gain camp contribution points from participating in camp events and you can use these points towards um these different little things and so as you can see baron's hunter damage kitten zombies humans and animals lethal wounds increases critical hit um skilled increases skill strength Headhunter increases your weakness damage. Skill defense. No, skill defense doesn't. Weapons expert improve damage. Hardhead improve your weakness. And yeah, this is just resistant. So those are really, really good to increase first. And here in the Raven section. When you title up, when you do hold a line and you complete your strongholds and you reach a certain level, you can promote here. So I don't have it done, but you can promote here and it will give you additional stats that you can see here on the side. Max HP, max armor, damage, skill strength, and it will replace the previous one with the better one. Um, so I like to do this to as much as I can. So just do it as much as you can. You don't have to push yourself to the limit. Just do as much as you can and upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Because this will give you a big boost. Okay, so also your title. So as you can see here, my title I have equipped right now is Assistant Chef which gives me a skill strength of 10. And when you go here into the role area, you can see that all of the different roles give you titles as well. And all of them do. The best one I have seen is the scavenger, which gives you damage and skill increase. Um, but the easiest to get is the chef because all you have to do is just cook 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 if you like to gather as much as I do You have to gather a lot in this game to even get anything. So I'm always gathering. I need a lot of food. I make a lot of food and the chef title was the easiest to get when you're barely starting off Now let's look at the equipment. So here, max out your weapon, max out everything, it doesn't really do anything. But over here, of course, max out your accessories down here and then click your glove. And you can see here, a hand armor plate, it helps increase your skill strength. So when you fill it up all three here, um, you can see here skill string 14 skill string 12 12 and those all add up together so this is great and will help you polishing of course max polish your weapon first and then polish your gloves because they give you skill strength yes they also give you skill strength um modifying your gloves as well as you can see here in the preview area they help with head armor piercing torso armor piercing leg armor piercing 
head armor, torso armor, leg armor, literally, it gives you basically the same thing as your weapon preview. Like, literally almost the same exact thing. So, the gloves are also very crucial in modifying and upgrading because they help give you stuff. But here in this section, it doesn't give you anything. It just um, gives you torso armor. Oops. It just gives you torso armor here. So, those are what you want to enhance. Well, I almost forgot. Okay achievements so in your achievements when you achieve stuff you get these enhanced syringes which increases your max hp by three damage by two and skill strength by two and so just try to complete this as much as you can um if you're not doing anything you have already done all your dailies and stuff like that just go through here there's like very easy subsy obtain 10 pieces of furniture and then you get the syringe 100 pieces i think it's 100 pieces but and yeah and you can also get them from your exploration points so if you use your exploration points you could get the enhanced syringe and this is permanent so try to get as much as you can um, because it will permanently help boost your character as well and that is all i have for you guys i hope this video helps you guys out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video